The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. We meet in the presence of God in this most unusual year. And we represent all those who would normally be with us at this ceremony. And we have the responsibility of representing our community as we come together today. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts, past and present, have been given and taken away. And so, as a community, we remember them. before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for the country in war, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of mankind. of the fallen 1914 to 1918 Alexander Bertram 6th Battalion North Dorchester Regiment Robert Bertram 2nd Battalion Durham Light Infantry John Clark Northumberland Fusiliers Thomas Cuthbertson 7th Battalion Northumberland Fusiliers William Curry 10th Battalion Yorkshire Regiment, Charles Dawson, Adam Durham, 3rd Battalion, London Regiment, Royal Fusiliers, Richard Douglas, Royal Engineers, Roderick McKenzie, Regiment of the Royal Artillery, Edward Patterson, C Company, 1st and 7th Battalion, Northumberland Fusiliers, Charles Ross, 13th Battalion, the King's Liverpool Regiment. Thomas Saddington, 124th Battalion, Tyneside, Northumberland Fusiliers. Alexander Stevenson, Northumberland Fusiliers. James Stevenson, Northumberland Fusiliers. Peter Tyndale, Northumberland Fusiliers. John Wilson, the Yorkshire Regiment. The names of the fallen 1913 to 1945. Richard Archibald, Royal Navy. He died in the English Channel. He is also interred in the local cemetery. Thomas Bradford, Pioneer Corps, Normandy. He is also buried in the no no local cemetery. William Coates, the Royal Signals, Italy. David Cormack, the Royal Naval Navy, Malta. Derek Curry, RAF, Belgium. John Durham, RAF, Belgium. Lawrence Gladhill, Merchant Navy, at sea. Frank McCaskey, the Essex Yeomanry, England. He's also interred in the local cemetery. 
Cecil Mackenzie, Leicestershire Regiment, Italy. Douglas Morton, the Royal Navy, Northumberland Fusiliers, England. He's also interred in the local cemetery. John Moore, Northumberland Hussars, Normandy. Matthew Norris, 3rd Carboneers, Burma. John Nutman, Royal Northumberland Fusiliers, Far East, Prisoner of War. Joseph Pearson, Royal Northumberland Fusiliers, the Far East, Prisoner of War. James Simpson, the Essex Regiment, Burma. James Skillen, the Merchant Navy at Sea. Alan Spence, RAF, 1943, England. He's also interred in the local cemetery. Roland Sunder, the glider pilot, England. He's also interred in the Nurtle Cemetery. Thomas Trotter, Burma. We will remember them. We will remember them. They shall grow not old, that as we are left grow old. It shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Three short Bible readings. Hear these words from the New Testament. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid and from the book James. The wisdom from above is first pure, then peace, peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace for those who make peace. And from the born one John. This is the message we've heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. Amen. The act of commitment. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow men and women, that we may help, encourage and comfort others, 
and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all mankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit. Give us wisdom. Give us courage. Give us hope and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. We join together in the words of the Lord's Prayer, the words that Jesus, our brother, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. God save our gracious Queen, long live the noble Queen. God save the Queen. Send her victorious, Happy and glorious, long to reign over us, God save the Queen. May God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all people, unity, peace, and concord. And to us, and all God's servants, life everlasting. And the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be upon you, and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.